What up, the homies? The homies is your homeboy Grant Tizzle, and we're back. And I'm wondering if I got a squeaky voice. Now, sometimes I can come on here and I can sound like a DJ, but then sometimes I'll be like, "What up, the homies? The homies is your homeboy Kitty Witty." I'm almost a hundred years old, and I'm sounding like a two-year-old kid with a high squeaky pitch voice. I hate that, man. I like Mickey Mouse in my voice or something, man. Maybe I need to do the polarity thing and just get up on top of the, the uh, you know, the mic. Or maybe I could just go ahead and treat my voice like this Cat Williams. He got a high squeaky voice. But well, anywho, fam, we're back, as promised, on our 30-day challenge. What's that 30-day challenge going for the homie Grand Tizzle? That is to be consistent with tutorials with you guys for 30 days. Even if it's crap. No, I'm just kidding. Not if it's crap. If it's crap, we're going to give it the boot. But uh, we're always, always going to learn something new. Now, what we've been working on, fam is um high quality mixtape graphic tutorials now of course it's going to branch off to some other advanced photoshop tutorials because you know you want to learn more than just uh, mixtape covers but for the most part uh, we cover mixtape covers and flyers things like that uh things that kind of covers the hip-hop um generation right so um right now we're going to do something called high dynamic range and what that is is we're going to use that technique to create what we call a grunge effect now i got a really high quality image right here if you see if we zoom all the way in you can see that it continues and continues and you really don't see no pixels until you get about right about there but even there you still see skin and skin pigmentation and you know this is just a really uh high quality image and you could tell obviously this is an older guy but uh, he might have been a looker back in his days. No homo. <laughs> the guy got good skin. Looked like he ate, ate healthy. You know what I mean? So, you know, I wish to look smooth like this when I get older. But for the most part, I'm smooth now. Nah. nah, I mean, anyway, fam, check it out. What we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you two techniques that we use to do this grunge type effect. One technique is to um, go over to Topaz Labs. Now, let's go ahead and go to Topaz Lab. We're going to go down to uh, Adjust 5. And we're simply going to select a HD collection. And bam, there you have it. The grunge effect. Ta-da. And there's a variety of sound. We can hit uh, brightness, dynamic brightness. We can hit dynamic pop. We can hit dynamic pop 2. You know heavy grunge you know smooth heavy and then um and then the one we just had okay so that's that now check it out now why do you want to learn how to do this why am i teaching this well because there's two styles of mixtapes out there there's a one grungy style type of mixtape and then there's another kind of like cartoonistic uh type of mixtape and the grunger one is slightly what, what i feel is slightly more advanced simply because of what goes into it all right now the reason why we're learning this and why we're going to do this now we're going to cancel cancel that out and we're going to go back to the main image now everybody don't have topaz lab uh, uh i mean topaz labs but you can get it free for 30 days test it out and if you dig deep enough you could probably find it on uh, the internet somewhere for longer than 30 days but you got to dig if you know what I mean. But anyway, anywho, uh, let's get back to it. So anyway, just in case you can't get your hands on Topaz Lab, we're going to do a technique. Or we're going to use a technique and, uh, using strictly Photoshop. And then we're going to use a few different variations and a few variables and a few, a few personal things that I like to do personally to get that grunge effect. So let's first, we have the layer here. This is a clean layer. We're going to copy that layer and um, we're going to right click and turn it convert that to a smart object so that we can apply a filter called um, high pass so when we go to high pass we see that it's kind of like a black and white version of the grunge effect all right now your radius is going to be different based on the quality of your picture a lot of times if your resolution is uh, small uh, you know, people use the radius of six. I mean, actually of two, something like two, but you could barely see it. So in my case, I'm going to turn it up just to where I can see it enough, right? 
just enough and um because i want to be able to see those you see the the kind of the shadows in there and the and the little details in there so that's just that's sufficient for now now i'm gonna hit okay and now we got that overlaid over um over our original image so to be able to apply this effect to the image we want to go over to um uh, overlay and we hit overlay and now look what happens before after before after so we got a little bit of the effect on it now the reason why we have a little is because there's a few things that we can do to enhance the effect effect even more so one way to do it is to because i don't want to overdo it i want to underdo it and then start adding layers so let's if we add another layer we see we apply the effect a little more and what it does is it adds very subtle you know it, it adds to it subtly until i'm you know satisfied with the look we can add one more and now we got a much more richer much more detailed uh, image here now uh what we're going to do also right now is we're going to manipulate this last layer by doing some um color enhancements and things like that so what i like to do is um we can go to this adjustment layer we can go to exposure and we can start adjusting our exposure so we're going to turn it down a little bit we're going to adjust our, our offset and kind of push the shadows a little so we're pushing the shadows here now we don't want to push it too much because we'll lose detail and then we we'll want to adjust our um gamma correction to something like like such and then we can go in here and add some highlights by going to our levels and turning up the brightness here and we can adjust this if you want and you can adjust strictly the shadows okay so now we got a really crazy looking grungy you know it's really crazy and grungy looking right now keep in mind we still got that original going on so what I like to do is um uh, actually this is pretty much it this is it uh, this is the you know a, a serious grunge effect now if there's a few other things that we can do um, what I'm gonna do first is select all of these layers and um, we can hold control E and merge them all together but now I have to go back to overlay set that overlay okay and then uh, if we wanted to we can adjust the opacity to say how much we use right so we kind of cool with that and uh, and at the end don't worry because I'm gonna show you why we are doing this now a typical mixtape designer is not going to you know get an old man face and, and put that effect on it. I'm only showing you this effect because I'm gonna show you what we're going what for our next tutorial that's coming up tomorrow how we're going to apply this effect to get this specific type of grungy look for our background for our, um we're going to create a, a um what I forget the name I, I was going to call it back background or something like that anyway you'll see in the title tomorrow but anywho so we got this and now what I like to do is um make another copy of this and kind of start um doing something I want to do some dodging and burning right so let's go up in here and uh, we'll select our burn tool first and start applying some shadows here right and uh, let's turn exposure down to maybe like uh, 20 or something so we can it, one stroke won't give us too much dark let's turn it on a little bit more so one stroke won't make it too dark for us because we kind of want to build up on it all right so what we're doing is like really enhancing them shadows now again if you got topaz lab lab topaz lab i keep wanting to say topaz live <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it just sound more hip-hop Okay, but if you got Topaz Lab, um, th all of these little things that we're doing, it's almost like an action. Topaz Lab is almost considered like a, just a big party action. And you just hit one button and it just take care of everything for you. But for now, we're going to just kind of, um, you know, use it for this. All right, so we got the, and it's quick. This is very brief, fam. Uh, you can get as detail in it as you want. Now we're going to go to our Dodge tool and kind of lighten some things up right so now we got these like odd looking you know like wow this you know who took that photo i mean they really know what they're doing that's kind of the whole point and purpose of a high dynamic high dynamic range it really shows the 
expertise of a photographer you see so you know real true photographers really hate that we can do this in photoshop you know because it takes their glory away right all right so there we have it and then i like to go in here and um we get the sharpen tool and really blow out some highlights here so let's get in here and just really sharpen up that mustache not all of them though just some things that's in focus so we sh super sharpen up what's in focus like them eyeballs and crystals in them eyes the little wrinkles right there you know we really we bring it home right and then and then we push oh that's like right there you know then you push back with the blur so let's uh, find some parts that that's blurred and like really blurred so that the sharps can really look sharp and the blur can really look blurred right like super blurred I mean so it just look super duper dynamic and that's pretty much it and uh, it's kind of just a simple way that you can get a high dynamic range look with your photo all right now what's the whole point of doing that well it's this um for something like this for when you're creating backgrounds um it's again it's two it's a colorful version like a cartoon version of um the photoshop designs and then there's this ultra realistic still look drawn or painted but it just look very dynamic and that's what that that's what learning this technique is for and either you can use topaz live or you could take your final image and create something like this now this was created from scratch and we're going to do this um, tutorial tomorrow but what I'm going to show you is how we took something like this and turn it into something like this now don't ask me why I put the soldier in there it just seemed like he fitted the uh, you know the scenario there but um, you know we have the walls here we have the ember the fire ember we got the garbage cans added you know we got the you know city in the background we got the clouds we got the trees here everything in there is a different layer and we're going to go into detail about all that uh tomorrow this was the most recent tutorial i did somebody uh called me out on it said don't look too don't look like you uh, did too much work on that and it was right i you know they didn't really go ham on it you know what i mean i just this was some work that i did for free for a client so you know i wasn't going to spend hours and hours and hours on it you know what i mean but uh i will spend hours training you so that's no problem f for me but anyway we're going to take an image like this and then we're going to convert it manipulate it and create something like so now let's break this down real quick and you kind of can see all the layers that went into it you know let's see how this was kind of constructed here and uh, it's fairly simple, but it's just another skill set that you can put under your belt. Now, all these tutorials, everything that I'm showing you here, look, we even created the water reflections. The water reflections was not even there. The branches is not there. You would think they're there, but they're not. The tree wasn't there. High dynamic, high dynamic range. Um, what's that? That's the water reflection of the fake water. So it's cool. It's really something you guys can look forward to tomorrow and we break everything down and uh, we remove and now you see oh haha -ha, we see said the blind guy see so that was there and then we you know got the clouds and everything like that and that's the original picture boom so um that's it that was a quick one today fam but we're going to come back tomorrow so go ahead and sit back and relax get your drinks and everything you know all the, all the good things that you do that you can get your sweet cool little vibe on and we're going to go into this and we're going to discuss some things and we're going to have some fun we're going to create it from scratch maybe something different but um you know we're just going to just dig into it and uh go from there fam all right, so it's your home grand teaser, and I hope you guys benefited from this. Make sure that y'all um, subscribe and all that other good stuff. Oh, what you doing, Tizzle? We don't even understand what's happening. Me neither. Where's the image? There's an image down here somewhere. What happened to it? Oh, that's what's happening. <laughs> that got to go.
Okay, fam. So anyway, thank you for watching. And it's your homie Grant Tizzle. And until the next time, make sure y'all come uh, sign in tomorrow so y'all can check out this um this new tutorial I got lined up. And, and we're gonna strictly talk about backgrounds and layers and things like that. I mean, creating literal environments that just don't exist, that can't exist, and putting your your you know your people inside of that um, particular element. All right. So. Uh, see y'all tomorrow, so make sure y'all stay, stay tuned and, and log in tomorrow. Check it out. Peace. Anything is possible. If you can think it, you can do it. The only limitation, the only obstacle is your brain. If you believe it, you can achieve it. If you don't, you won't. It's just that simple. We at Red Media Art understands this. But we encourage you to do more than just learn. We at Red Media Art want to push you, inspire you, invoke you to shoot beyond what you believe is possible. We understand the true secrets of success, the way the mind works in learning environments, how the brain releases dopamine each time you learn something new, and how you can change your life simply by changing your mind and sticking to it. We not only train you in developing a skill, but we also train you in developing a mindset, helping you to become far beyond your own abilities and helping you.